Hi there, this is Jean Wells, and this is my latest Running Wild Table Runner, and the pattern was designed by Tony Phillips, and today I'm gonna show you two different ways to make these circles. So, um, the first way is uh, using a template, and these are by Karen K. Buckley. It's a very simple process. You put, choose the size you want, put it on fabric and trace around it. And I just thought I'd share my favorite pencil is the general pencils. And these are a chalk pencil. And so the chalk will come off your fabric for sure. So, uh, and if all else fails, just a lead pencil. So I've traced around the circle. Then I'm gonna cut an ample quarter inch all the way around for seam allowance. And then you take a needle and thread and you do a running stitch around the edge. And where I started, I put a knot because I don't want this to come out and I've left a little bit of a tail. So I have a little more to do here, and then I'm gonna show you how to put the circle in. And this doesn't have to be, you know, exactly even stitches. And you can see I load up my needle with these. And then pull it through. Alrighty, so now we're going to put the uh, template in. It looks like it isn't going to fit, doesn't it? See, and see there's just a little bit of quarter inch there. And I have the tail that I started with. So I'm going to pull that up. And I'm also pulling up this one. I So I have both of these pulled up now and I'm going to kind of loosely tie them. <laughs> I used a contrasting thread so you could see it and then I can barely see it. I always get all thumbs when I'm in front of you. Yeah, I get one more little knot in here. And I will just trim this off a little bit. And this is the really interesting thing to do. Now I have my iron turned on cotton and I'm gonna use a little bit of flatter. And this is a plant-based product and it's like a spray starch, but it, it's not as toxic as normal spray starch. And I just started using this recently and I love it. So you're going to just spray lightly. And I'm gonna wipe off what I have on the plastic because we don't, you know, it's not gonna matter, but. Then you take the tip of your iron and you just go around. And what you're doing is pressing in that fold line and it's over the template so you get a nice smooth line. Now that they're kind of turned under, I'm doing, and you notice I'm going up and down, that's pressing. Ironing is like doing a shirt. Now, to get this out, it's really not that hard because it's bendable plastic. Okay, there it came out. And here's a finished one. You can see how nice it looks. So I'm just gonna repress this now that the plastic is out. And I have a nice circle. And this is ready to stitch in place. So there's another way that I um, 
years ago developed for myself when I was doing tons of applique with tedious little shapes. And that is to again, trace the shape first, but I have two pieces of fabric together. So I stitch on that line I traced, and then I'm going to pull up one side here. <laughs> oh, there we go. And I just pinch it a little bit and take a snip, then I open it up and I make this a little larger, I would say, you know, you could do this with a little tiny shape too, so you don't make too big of a slit. But then it's enough to turn this inside out. Doesn't look like much yet, but I have this little perfect stick that I use. It came in some uh, stuffing in a stuffing bag. So I am just pushing out all of the edges where the, the seam is. And then I'm gonna take it and press that. And again, go up and down. And, oh, I got a little kink there. I'm gonna put a little bit of flatter on it. So, this, these are ready to stitch down. The difference is, this is one piece of fabric, this is two. And I have found on this project, um, on this particular one, I did the two. And I pencil on this spiral and start stitching. And I get to this last, I start in the middle, and then when I get to this outer edge, I lay it on the block. And so this attaches it to the block, this last little bit of stitching. And I, um, you know, I hadn't learned this other method at the time, so this is the one I've done forever, but I like both. So it gives you a couple different options. You can see what you like to do best.